Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back. Since uh, we recorded the opening, if you missed it, it was a, a bad Nexus opening. Uh, I'll look good for the memes. And really, really good crystal luck with the majority of crystals, especially the basic Nexus, which we have four of, we're going to open and scatter out throughout the week. So when he's back in Oregon, his, his presence will still be on the channel. Yay! Here but for you guys for another day. If you missed it, uh, thanks to all of the content cleared, I now have two. Look at those triangles. Generic six star awakening gems. Also, Ooh. shout out to uh, which we need to do a separate video on that sometime on who I could awake because there are a lot of good people I could awaken that I just haven't used them on. They're asleep. They are. And are you gonna show the thing you just opened? Yes, but I also think it's worth noting. Let me see. If they always move these things around. All these numbers. Yeah. It's a lot. It's like a Marvel version of Pokemon going on here. I have the max of 125 generic six stones, which means I probably have, because I haven't checked, quite a few in the overflow that will need to be used in the next. What are these Marvel these. Pokeballs? Woo! Look at all of these. Wow. Dang. <laughs> you better believe those are like one of the most valuable items in the game. They're great. So Captain America Infinity War. Might be a candidate for that. Um, but the reason why this video now exists. We landed the Mystic Rank Purple, Purple's my favorite color, so I'm down for purple. And we just got back from lunch. You were thinking it over. Initially, you thought that might have been second, third best. No, no, no. Now you're convinced. It was the number one choice that you actually were it's going It's the number for. one choice because I was very tempted to use... All of the items, because I know this is going to be nothing to my brother, and he's going to laugh hysterically, almost as bad as when I told him I was going to retire from the game and use the R word, retire. But let's say we were going to rank up Dr. Doom. Well, uh, even though, for the record, even though the majority wow. of you watching this disagree with this because you love Doom, and I think he's great at rank three, but I use him just a couple times a year. Act 7 uh, wow. being one of them. Christmas and Easter? Yes. It takes three tier six basic, look at that item, and three tier three alpha. Each one of those things still in the game, and maybe it'll come down in price hopefully by the end of the year, are thousands of dollars. So that's like $6,000 worth of items. To use twice a year? Plus a fully formed tier, tier five, uh, two, plus five tier five basic. So anyhow, my best mystic champion that I use every day, especially now in Alliance Quest, is Black Widow. Uh, clairvoyant and I was prepared to use all of these generic rank ups that I could use on any champion on her the rank up gem means I can use those on somebody else specifically now the person that I love using the most but I don't know if I can justify it using my own roles is cosmic ghost rider mm. he is so much fun and I would argue he benefits the most out of any of the champions we're going to discuss to say on increase of damage from rank 3 to rank 4 those big yellow numbers we always talk about. Those lovely critical hits. Last night, somebody on the stream said that Cosmic Ghost Rider was their favorite champ of all of them in the whole game to use. Yeah. Very popular answer. Yeah. Very powerful champ. So, that's somebody that I would love. And again, because I got the Mystic Rank Up Gem, I could rank him up and Black Widow uh, Clairvoyant up. Uh, I do want to point this out, though. Diablo's up there for honorable mention because he is unbelievable. Um, I know some of you are going to say, Prof, you got to do Ghost. I don't use Ghost that much. Part of it's because you have to use Wasp in theory with her. Now, some of you don't. To get unblockable specials, I don't like using spots for synergies in my roster. I'd rather have everybody be a straight banger. Um, I remember opening Ghost with you. That was one of the greatest moments in channel history. I'm just going to shout out Space Ghost, Coast to Coast, The Scream. We should probably watch that video at some point today. Nostalgically reflect. Oh, yeah. Nick Fury, who I know literally in the Captain Marvel movie was deemed from a scroll as like zero threat. Yes. Is unbelievable. Still top two or three best champion of his class. Has unbelievable bleed damage. I don't know how. Uh, he is a rank four choice as well. And Ultron finally is unbelievable in this game as hey, well. Hey, Ultron was the first ever champ that we opened together. I did not Actually, remember I, that. Or second next to him and Juggernaut. Obviously, I've got Apocalypse. 
Abomination. Moral Abomination would have been my science choice, and it feels weird that my top science choice isn't even Awaken. Um, he does. He's one of those champions too, like Black Widow, Deadly Origin, who could use Awaken but doesn't need it. Okay. Warlock is the same way. Uh, so are we asking a question about this? I mean, you're going yeah, over stuff. Like, I'm what, what going over. The I need to know. Okay. And the more feedback on the comments, I learn more from you all than you all do for me. So, as, as any good teacher says about their students. So, if you could explain, like, Prof, I know you use this person the most. Speaking of my Alliance Quest new Map 6 team, because Corvus is not in it, which is great, because then I can use Corvus for Event Quest without him. I have Ultron. The third spot is kind of open. Red Mags. Is somebody mm, that uh, yeah also has a really good buff. One of my favorite champs. Terribly low. Should be way yeah. better than Black Widow. As well. And Falcon. And Falcon. How can any Magneto in any universe ever not be infinitely more powerful than both those champs? Or Thor. So we want to know, who does the community choose? I, I don't know if you're going to listen to them, but at least I want to know. Because it seems to come down to Doctor Doom or Black Widow Clairvoyant. So... We have Prof Hoff was just given some Prof Hoff context, some Prof context as to his champs, his items, Omega the, Red, the obviously stakes, in their team. the stakes here for, it's like a domino, pun intended, effect here that you can have the generics used for other people if you use uh, different items on different champs for this. So given how he uses, especially Black Widow Clairvoyant, and that he owes only a Christmas and Easter twice a year, <laughs> Doctor Doom. Would you still go Doctor Doom? <laughs> is, in your opinion, Doctor Doom so much more powerful than Black Widow Clairvoyant that you still think he would be an idiot? Remember, I run Suicides. That's part of the reason. If I didn't run Suicides, Doom would be certainly after. Um, let's end this or video here. Go, or should I go Black Widow Clairvoyant? I don't want us to start rambling. Uh, thanks for the feedback in advance. This is such a great day for my channel. I'm so glad my brother gets to be here for the history. Who should we rank up? Thanks for the feedback. Let us know. Have a good one.